Hi there, welcome to this video when I'm going to see how many birds I can photograph in three days. Now it's come round to the time of year again when I do my annual challenge to photograph as many birds as I can in three days. Now this is the fourth time that I will have done this and it started way back in 2020 and every year I've managed to increase my total score. The first year I got 33 species, the second year 34 and last year I managed to photograph 36 different species of birds over the course of the three days. So I'm really going to have my work cut out for me this year um, because the bird numbers in general seem to be a lot lower but fingers crossed I'll be able to get somewhere close even if I don't manage to beat it. So stay with me in this video to see how many birds I can photograph and I know over the next three days I'm really going to enjoy my photography. So there are a few rules that I've set myself for this challenge. The first one is that for the birds to count towards my total, I have to photograph them. Now that could be an actual photograph or video, but unless I get them in the camera, they don't count. And the second rule is that I need to photograph the birds within a mile of where I live. So that's a mile radius. Now I am fairly lucky that I live out in the countryside and I've got access to several ponds and a hide of my own. So I do have a little bit of an advantage but it is going to be tough this year. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit and hide for a good hour or maybe even longer and just see what I can see because this is a good way of really bumping up my um, bird count for today. I already know that there's quite a few birds about. There are some starlings over in the hedge that are making a right racket. Hopefully they might come a little bit closer and I can take their photographs but I'm sure I'll get quite a number of species just on my bird feeders here this morning. So I must have spent about an hour and a half in the hide um, and I've got 14 species so far which is not bad going. Um, there are some obvious things missing, I haven't seen any nut hatch or a chaffinch. Um, um, I've sometimes seen a wren from here. Um, I've heard a wren in the hedge just by the side of the hide but I've not actually seen one um, and I've not really got a great um, shot of one of the starlings so I think I'll walk around to the hedge and see if I can get a better shot of those. Um, I've had some really annoying close encounters with jackdaws. Um, every time they land um, I've been pointing the camera in the wrong position and as soon as you turn the camera they're really sensitive to any kind of movement and they've flown off so I've never quite been lucky enough to have one land in the direction that I've been pointing the camera. So I've got another two days to have a go to see if I can get a better shot of a jackdaw. I have got something but it's not the best. So what I'm going to do now is go to one of my other hides that's next to a pond um, and see what I can photograph there.
On the way down here to the pond, I did get some fairly interesting shots of swallows on the electricity wires in front of our house. Um, and one of them was in flight as well, so hopefully that'll work out really well. Um, I did get a crow in flight, but I don't think that's going to be great. Um, but this challenge is not about quality, it's about quantity. Um, so I can get away with things that are probably not what I would normally put in my videos because I've only got to photograph the birds to uh, make them count. And then I also got some starlings in the hedge as well. So by my reckoning, my bird count at the moment is up to 17. sat down in the hide now for over an hour and unfortunately it's not been very productive. I have seen some mallard so I've improved on one of the shots that I've got but I already saw one of those in the back garden so that hasn't improved the count. I've seen a uh, moor hen and a grey heron just landed in the top of a tree just as I was thinking about uh, leaving. So that has raised my total to 19, but it was a little bit disappointing. I did hope to see a few more species down here, but it's now about lunchtime, so I'm gonna go and have something to eat, and then I'm gonna have another session this afternoon. I've now had something to eat, but on the way back from the pond, I did see another species of bird. I saw a buzzard, so that's taken my total up to 20. And I also met somebody who lives locally who said that I could go onto their land and use their fishing pool to see if I could take any photographs there. Now, I've never been before, so I don't know what to expect. So I've put my pop-up hide on my back, and that's where we're gonna head off now. So this is a really lovely location, um, but just at the moment, I'm not sure how promising it's going to be because I've not seen any signs of birds on the water. Um, it's quite a narrow, long pool. Um, uh, there might be some birds that come if I just sit here for a little while. Um, there are certainly some birds about in the trees that I can hear, but I've not actually seen any. But there's a platform that sticks out into the pond, obviously uh, designed for fishing from. Um, so I've set up the hide on that. So I'm very comfortable um, and it's nice just sitting out um, enjoying this lovely view. Well, despite this being a beautiful location, um, I haven't seen a single bird sighting, not even just one in the distance flying or uh, one jumping about in a tree. Um, and so what I think I'm gonna have to do is move on to somewhere else um, because I would really like to get at least two or three more um, species added to the total for day one to give me a good chance going into day two and three of um, getting somewhere close to last year. Um, I can't remember what um, number I was at at the end of day one last year, but I do know that day two and three tend to be more difficult because you tend to see more of the same species that you already have seen. Um, and so it's quite tricky. So I could do with a few more before I call it a day today. So it's time to move on. It just goes to show that you never know what you might see. I'm not fully out of the field yet and I came across this small pool of water so I thought there might be something on there so I put down the equipment and I crept up to the pool and lo and behold there was a tufted duck on there so I managed to photograph it before it flew off. For the last few days I've driven down this road and seen a pied wagtail nearly every time. So what I decided to do was walk down here and I've seen it again 
albeit from a long distance away. So what I'm hoping is if I sit here on the side of the road for a little while, it might decide to come back, but a little bit closer. I'm going to call it a day now for day one. Um, it's been pretty successful. I've got 24 species photographed. I've just finished off the day with a pied wagtail, a thrush that I saw on the road, and also uh, a dove as well. Um, and so that's going to put a little bit of pressure on for day two and three, um, because I've now got 12 species to photograph um, to equal last year's score and I think it's going to be fairly tough because um, there's not a lot of birds about. I really have struggled to get the 24 that I've got today but you never know what you might see. I've still got more locations to visit that I've not already visited so I should definitely be able to get the count up but whether I beat last year's you'll have to stay tuned to find out. Welcome to day two. Now I'm not going to film every part of the next two days. Um, I'm only going to just show you the highlights and keep you up to date with my running total. Otherwise this video is going to last for about three hours. But just at the moment I've spent about an hour in my hide. I have managed to see a chaffinch and earlier I did go out and have a look around the house and I've got some pictures of house martins that are nesting in the chapel next to where we live and I also saw a wren on um, a twig just outside um, one of our outbuildings. So the total's gone up to 27. When you go through the storm, I will hold you, keep you warm. When you stay in the night, I will shelter, I will fight, I will fight. Oh. come for a little walk into my local wood and I have seen a long tailed tit and a magpie so that's added a couple more to my total but I have also seen a tree creeper and I've seen a jay that I didn't manage to photograph. There are lots of birds about because I can hear them so I'm going to stay around for a little while longer just to see if I can photograph anything else. Take a step into the river where you will find peace I spent a little bit of time here by this pond. Uh, this is a site that I saw the Goldcrest a little while ago. I've not seen it today, but I have seen a family of Canada geese and I've also seen another bird that I've yet to identify, uh, but that has taken my total at lunchtime on day two to 31. Day two's come to a close. I've had a final walk around the area and I have seen two more species. I've seen a grey lag goose and a coot. Um, so that's taken my day two total up to 33, which has equaled my um, previous best from my first year. Second year I got 34 and last year I got 36. So three more to equal my all time record and four more to beat it on the final day. So stay tuned to find out what happens. Take a step into the river and get down on your knees. So this is day three and I'm in stealth mode today to try and get those final four species. Um, it's going to be down to luck really whether I actually see them. Now I am going to visit a few places where I know I've seen different species than I've already seen but it's all a matter of if I'm in the right place at the right time. So come along and let's see if we can find those final four species. The area where I am now 
is literally about 150 meters away from where I live um, and it's great for wildlife um, but the area is very wet and marshy and so the downside is there's lots of mosquitoes about hence the fact I've got my hood up and hands in the pocket because I've already been bitten quite a few times. just had a great shot to finish the video I've just spotted a bird in this woodland here going to a tree um, and when I got a little bit closer I realized it was a nut hatch going into a hole so I've got some really nice shots of that and a little bit of video as well There we have it, I've managed to beat my all time total again. I really wasn't confident this year um, because I set such a high bar last time with 36, but I've managed to see 37 different species this time. And I know that I got lots of sightings of jays and didn't manage to photograph them. I saw a tree creeper as well, so that could have been 39. And in the last couple of years, I've also seen a lapwing on one of the local fields. And even though I've been there a few times I've not seen it this year so in the future it's possible I could get up to 40. Well I do hope you've enjoyed that video and if you have do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Vero account and leave me your comments there. Now if you like what I do on the channel you can help me out in a really big way by also visiting my Teespring store because there I've got lots of merchandise available so go and check that out because a purchase is very very much appreciated and also don't forget the super thanks button Button. but you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel you can do that simply by clicking like subscribe and the bell notifications because it does really help me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content watch out for next week's video that goes live on sunday now in the meantime go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and i'll see you soon